Review time! This is what's known as a software-defined radio. It plugs into a computer on this side here, and of course there's an antenna over here. Uh, it can pick up television signals with a DVB standard, it uh, does FM radio. Uh, but more importantly, because it's software-defined, uh, a lot of people have been extending the capabilities of the chip through various programs uh, and picking up all sorts of interesting signals with it. Uh, we're going to tear this one apart and take a look at the chip. So here we have the uh, circuit board removed from that little plastic case. On the left side is the RF input connector. On the right side, the USB that goes to the uh, personal computer. Uh, two uh, integrated circuits, obviously. The one on the upper left is a Raphael Micro R820. Uh, it's basically a TV tuner, uh, but it can be repurposed for a whole bunch of things. And the one below that is a Realtek uh, RTL2832U. Uh, this is a COF DM demodulator, and uh, this is actually a really interesting chip. It can do all sorts of uh, fascinating things. And people are definitely repurposing them to uh, take all sorts of signals and process them. Let's see what we can sort down here. Uh, just look at the RF input. Uh, it goes to a capacitor to start with. And then it uh, goes to that integrated circuit. Those are two diodes back to back. Basically it's a clamp. So I presume if you put too much uh, signal into the assembly, the diodes will clamp it out to prevent it from uh, damaging the IC. There is a capacitor and an inductor in series. That almost certainly will be a bandpass filter. That makes sense. Uh, you only want the uh, frequency of interest to go into your chip. The little series of views that sort of gets scattered around. Uh, that's really interesting. It speaks to RF engineering. Uh, basically, nothing's uh, ground in, uh, in a uh, RF environment. So what they're doing there is stitching that plane down to the plane at the bottom of the board uh, and trying to keep them all in, in eco potential. So here we have the uh, tuner portion of the uh, design, the uh, 820 from Raphael Micro. Uh, clearly showing itself to be an RF uh, type product. Uh, the most obvious structures, those three there, are inductors. So uh, that gives you a quick hint. You're almost certainly looking at an RF type function. You don't get a lot of inductance there, but uh, more than enough for what's uh, going to go on here. Uh, there's going to be a, um, a VCO of some sort, and then there's going to be a bunch of mixers, and they're going to push out uh, uh, IF onto it. Uh, as always, I'll uh, throw this picture up here on my blog. Let me just put the listing up there. If you want to take a look at the actual die and sort down further but it looks like a, a typical rf uh, construction okay this is the second chip and this is the one that uh, there's so much work that's going on right now this is the rtl 2832 from realtek it's a coded orthogonal frequency division multiplexing decoder takes if on one side and spits out to usb on the other side uh, and that of course is being exploited by all sorts of programs out there if you take a look at the center there, the colorful portion, that's basically a heavy metallization. Uh, if we zoom in, uh, we can see this uh, pattern. Uh, looks like it's vertical and horizontal lines. Basically, that's a power distribution. And if you note cl closely, there's two of them, and I would presume one is power and one is ground. And if I circle those little uh, uh, circles, <laughs> they are basically interconnects uh, between uh, two metal layers. Uh, now, let's uh, zoom back out. Uh, on the upper left and the lower right are some functions which don't have that metallization. I presume those are more analog in nature. Uh, here's a zoom in of the one on the upper left. And uh, here's the zoom in uh, the one on the lower right. So, uh, not too surprising. It's a fairly digital function going on here. Uh, you have to do a lot of digital signal processing. Although, I must admit, I thought the ratio would be a little closer to 50 50 versus perhaps uh, 80 20. Okay, so if you're wondering what this video is about and you're not too familiar with them, uh, let me just go back to that website. Uh, there's a lot of special interest groups uh, that have formed on this chip. And let me just scroll through the things that people have been using this chip for. Uh, you can see they've really extended it far beyond the terrestrial TV that it was uh, meant for. Uh, and it can decode all sorts of neat signals. So if you're interested in one, you can certainly grab one off uh, eBay or Amazon quite quickly.